So we've got the best grind possible on FC24 currently. And you don't want to miss out on any of this. So it is required somewhat daily, but it's not necessarily that terrible that you have to do loads of hours. So I'm going to be showing you the best way to grind everything out from the winter wildcard 100, 83 times 10s, all the way to the players. For instance, Mbappe's there if you really want to do him. He has got 21 days left, and if you haven't started him, it could be tricky, but it definitely can be done. And where it all starts is obviously on the challenges. So if you've got a semi full-ish club, if you're looking at kind of golds, if you're looking at all of these, if you've got them in your club, then honestly, it's the best place to start because this is where we get tradable rewards. And this would be what the daily tradable winter wildcard challenge would look like. So it's 22 chem, a lot of silvers that are in the club. I'd suggest just going with a lot of the nations that you've got from silvers and just sprinkle in a few golds. You need one team as well. I personally just buy a couple of the commons, make sure that I've got a couple of rares and you get yourself a tradable pack. This is going to be a great start because you can potentially get somebody decent. Is this Kobol? It is indeed double, and that's a bit much to ask for, but this is going to be the start of getting ourselves some coins and being able to be self-sufficient with the grind. So we've got a lot of stuff here. What I normally do with a lot of this, you can obviously sell all the consumables if you really wanted to, but personally, it's not worth the time. Same with someone like Arteta. I can get 250 for him. You can obviously put him up for 350 if you are in need of the coins when it comes to a lot of these players as well i will have a double check but predominantly most stuff now is going to be at a discard value when it comes to the grind so normally i would just put a one up on obviously all of these players as naturally a lot of them don't go for much more and you will definitely sell them over a few listings some might be a little bit more tricky but predominantly most go for this if we do have a 6 p.m. before you're watching this video, then naturally have a look at the price in just in case. When it comes to the 83 and 84s, especially even the 87s, I will have a double check. And obviously, if you want to keep them, then you can. But I might put them up a little bit more than the value. So already there, we've made probably about, what, 15 to 20,000 coins. That's going to be perfect in the grind itself. We did get an extra cheeky gold pack, which, again, isn't going to be really relevant. But it is more coins as tradable cards are very, very hard to come by nowadays. So make sure you are listing anything that's tradable. That would be the biggest bit of advice I would give you to start with is tradable goes. Anything tradable, you need the coins back because that's going to kind of give us our little bit of coins to start the grind that is predominantly untradable. The next step is an easy one. This is kind of the daily part of it. We have got all of these that we can do daily, but what I would suggest straight away is looking at the daily gold, but for right now, we have got the daily silver and the daily bronze. These are going to be absolutely perfect for the grind as it does only require one player. So one bronze, one silver to be able to start it off. So get that done every day. We get one per day. They all repeat every single day. And we've got it for 20 days from now. So obviously, I haven't done mine in purpose of showing you this video. But I will just go ahead and grind this out if you want to make it even more attackful then do it with untradables obviously with the bronze and silvers if they're in the club already i'm not too fussed about selling them that is another way to grind out some more but once we've done that we can get the packs so we get let me just see which ones we get i can't remember how much these are 12 and 12 so we'll open these up and i'll show you the golds if your team's looking like this, then I have the place for you. Head over to U7Buy for all your coin needs. They're cheap, fast, and reliable. But make sure to use JT11 at the checkout for 6% off all of your coin orders. And another little bit of a nugget. If you do want to open these quicker, maybe you don't like the bronze packs. All you've got to do is on your controller, you've got your left B, is it? Yeah, LB, double LB, press A, and it will also, you've got to have the preview pack, should have mentioned that, and it will open up quickly. So it's just a skip animation as such. When it comes to doing the daily golds as well, you've got 11 bronzes, 11 silvers. Obviously, if you do this on the web app, it might be a bit quicker because you can just put them in straight away with commons. Because I've got a lot of bronzes at the bottom end that are predominantly Chinese, Indian, uh, Austrian, Irish, I don't need to worry about the league SBC too much. I will have a double check because naturally, as we see there, we have got a league gun player. That is going to be perfect for a later on part of the grind that we will keep all of them players and we need to make sure that we do as it makes the grind so much easier. And also, if you didn't know already, if you press your left stick in, it will open up the advanced filters. We can change everything to untradeable if you are looking to keep all of your 
tradable stuff for a later on and also we can do the lowest tier as well sort by lowest meaning whenever i do the silvers now they will all of the lowest cards will come first and then i can kind of sieve through and basically keep any major leagues air divisi and Liban, I suppose Liban Sud, but Liban Sud don't actually come in this. If you are doing the minor leagues, then obviously you'd have to keep them as well. But predominantly, this grind is mainly going to be focused on the bigger packs.